Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 13th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, we have tested the top of the bullish band, which is basically the previous highs here or the all time highs of, you know, of around the 61K100. So if this breaks, then we are looking at the 65 and probably also 70, uh, 70K. But we are running into resistant here. Pullbacks uh, will most likely find buyers at uh, 20 exponential. That's at this 57K. And drop below that, we have the 50 down here at the 54K. And the bottom of the bullish band, if that were to happen, is at 52K. So all of these moving average and also the bottom of the bullish band are most likely where buyers will come back in and buy if this can if this basically breaks down. So MACD is, is um, still in bullish territory and is flat. The Kasich is flat. The CCI is in bullish territory now. And the RSI is also bullish. So we have tested this twice and we got rejected. So we could head back before going higher. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum is also run in, in, running into uh, resistant here at the uh, 2150. 75 sorry um technical indicators are all flat so uh, macd is bullish territory stochastic is flat cci is flat and rsi is flat so we could also see this pull back towards the 20 exponential at the 1966 break below that opens the door to the 50 down here at 1770 uh and rallied from here we'll most likely find major resistant at give or take 2280 so let's look at cardano so Cardano has broken the top of the bullish band today and we have tested the previous highs here yet again. So that is a give or take uh, 1.3 to 5.6. This is also where we have found uh, resistant in the past. We have these uh, two spikes here. If you just uh, call them as outliers, then it's basically this range here, which is significant uh, resistant for for Cardano. So give or take this area here, you can see how often we basically tested that uh, level and we have been rejected numerous times. We could see this uh, pull back towards the middle of the bullish band at 1.829 uh, or the 50 moving average at 1.1537. 1. Uh, Technical indicators are fairly bullish at this current stage, but we are getting significantly overstretched. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin did pull back today, which was fairly expected as we were significantly outside of the bullish band here. At this current stage, we could drop towards uh, support again at the 220 exponential moving average at 214. Technical indicators are fairly mixed. The MACD is bullish, the Stochastic is uh, flat, CCI is uh, still in bullish territory, but the RSI is turning around quite aggressively. Uh, we were fairly very close to being overbought. But uh, 20 exponential has offered significant support in the past, so we may bounce from that. If that breaks, we could open that could open the door to the 50 down here at 190 and 96. Break of the 50, well, that could basically drop this all the way down to 161. So let's look at Neo. So Neo is uh, now trading flat. We were also uh, got fairly overstretched yesterday, broke down, and then today we broke down even further. Technical indicators are all turning around for this cryptocurrency. So we may see a pullback for the entire cryptocurrency market for the next uh, few days. It has been a major rally, but it looks like they're all mo most of them are leveling off, not just Neo and and uh, Litecoin and so on, but also also Bitcoin. So we could see a pullback towards 20 exponential or 50 before continuing higher. We are trading at 61 at this current stage. And if you just look at where we were in the beginning of the year, we're down at 14. So this has almost uh, five to six X's within just this year. That is absolutely enormous. Five to 600% rally in just the beginning, uh, only in 2021. So let's look at Dash. 
So Dash, very similar here. Uh, if you just look at where we were in the beginning of 2001, we were down here, give or take uh, at the 87, and now we're trading all the way up here at 272. So when we basically most people say these um, these cryptocurrencies are bubbles, yes, when they rally 500, 600 points in only uh, three months, then this is uh, almost getting into bubble territory because there are a heck of a lot of cryptocurrencies out there and all of them cannot rally uh, in the same way. But uh, that aside, uh, we'll look at the technical indicators for Dash. And as you can see, we did get to the very top of the bullish band and then got really heavily rejected. And also here, it looks like we are going to level off and head back towards support at 250. 46 the 50 down here 223 or probably all the way down to these previous levels here at 187 um, technical indicators are all turning around they're still in bullish territory but they are turning around so momentum has basically stalled and usually we need a pullback before going higher from here so let's look at from so from had a uh, on the cryptocurrency that we have been looking at today, this is the one that has been performing the best. It is up in nearly 9 to 10 percent today, has given some of the gains back, but we are most likely going to head back to these previous highs of 0 0.1444. Technical indicators are all very bullish at this current stage. We are on the edge of being overbought. Pullbacks from here will most likely find major support down at the uh, uh, 0 0.10 level and uh, at this current stage it looks like we are going to retest these uh, previous highs so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much